today we're going to be making this wreath super simple to make super easy this is more i think like a garland than a wreath uh, just because it's so so simple there's not like a whole bunch of flowers on it i wanted it to be just a little bit plain because i wanted to get the gold detail in the wreath uh, i wanted that part to show through but this is a really great um, housewarming gift i'm giving this to my sister for her birthday She's gonna be purchasing her second home and I wanted to incorporate everything into the gift. She absolutely loves wreaths, so I think that she'll like it. And I may add something in the future, I'm not sure, but for right now, I really like this as a base. This video is to give you an idea of what you can do. And then of course, you can change the colors, you can get a wire wreath, you can add as many flowers or make it as minimal as you like. So on that note, let's get started. So for this project, you will need a wreath. I bought this wreath at Michael's. It was originally $19.99, but it was 70% off. So I got it for around six bucks. Um, some fake flowers. I bought these at Dollar Tree for a dollar each. And if you would like, you can also use a hot glue gun. Um, but I just kind of twisted mine in there because I thought maybe I'd want to change the flowers at a later date. So my first step is to remove the flowers or separate the bunch. And I'm going to keep this greenery on the flowers. So I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to cut it probably right about here because I want to be able to twist the flower into the wreath. As I mentioned, you can glue it, you can twist it, but just in case I want to change something or maybe add another color at a different time, I'm going to twist mine in. So I'm probably going to cut it like right here. And because it's plastic, it's a little bit difficult to cut. So you kind of have to work the scissors. But there you go. And I'm going to cut the rest of them about this length. And then we'll be ready to arrange them on the wreath. So as I was cutting, I wanted to show you something really quickly. Um, if your scissors don't work, I don't know, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to get it as close as possible. Inside of the plastic, there is a wire kind of similar to a coat hanger. So wire cutters are probably best if you're going to be cutting the fake flowers. However, if you cannot get any wire cutters or you don't have any, you're just using scissors, you can cut the plastic with your scissor and just kind of bend this back and forth until you can break the wire. So that's another way to cut it if you're having problems cutting the flower stem from the base. Here's an example of what I was talking about. So you're just gonna pull that up, get it to where you want it, and then I'm just cutting around with the scissors, kind of making like a little indentation and then I'm just bending and it comes right off and there's your flower. I wanted to make sure that I showed you the difference between um, if you're cutting a bud to glue, which you should cut it even shorter than this. And then if you're wrapping the stem, it should be about this length. So to everyone who wants to glue instead, just make sure that you cut a little bit more of the stem, even maybe up to here just to make sure that you can actually place it and you can put the glue on there. And then if you are wrapping, this is about the length and then you can cut it off if you want to. I have my flower buds all ready. Now I'm going to place them on the wreath and get an idea of what I want it to look like. I have my roses placed where I want them on the wreath and now I'm gonna show you how to connect them without using glue. I've zoomed in so you can really see what I'm talking about. This is the bottom or just one part of the wreath as you can see. And I am gonna flip this over a little bit so that you can see the bottom. The flowers are sticking out and I've taken uh, the flower and just woven it through the wreath so that the bottom is kind of sticking out and I'm just gonna weave it around. So I'm gonna put this down and you can see kind of underneath. I'm just gonna take this and kind of wrap it back up into the wreath. Again, this is really close up, but I just wanted you to see the stem and I wanted to do this hands-free. So I flipped the wreath over 
and I'm just gonna take the stem and fold it into the wreath however I can. So I just wrapped it around, which should make it really secure. And it doesn't matter how you wrap it in here because remember, this is the part of the wreath that's gonna be against the door, so you don't really have to worry about that. So I'm gonna wrap all of the flowers and I will show you the final result in just a few minutes. This is the final result. As you can see, the gold detail is still in the wreath. Not too many flowers, uh, so it's kind of the more plain wreath look. Like I mentioned before, kind of more like a garland. Um, it, this is perfect for a spring wreath. This is perfect for a housewarming gift. And this is just kind of a base. So if you want to add more flowers, you can. But this is just a really good way for you to take advantage of the holidays, get something that's on sale, and make it your own. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next project.